Welcome back, everyone, from the Ask Joe file. A question tonight about some recent crimes that have been reported by Alert ID. Our viewer, who asked that I not use her name, says she has received updates from Alert ID, and she noticed there have been several reports of sexual assaults in the area where she lives, which is Vista Boulevard out near Wingfield Springs. Now, she says it's very concerning to her, and she's wondering if police think these cases are connected. Well, our viewer says this has been happening for the last six months to a year, and the most recent alert, she says, came just a few days ago ago less than half a mile from her house so she is concerned and she does not get notified she does get notified that is by alert ID but she says she'd like to get more information on what is happening I checked with Sparks police about this lieutenant Rocky triplet says he checked with their crime analyst and he says there's nothing to support this I logged on to alert ID myself today I typed in Vista Boulevard and Sparks and here's what came up 52 burglaries, two sex offenders, 18 fires, and 35 vehicle accidents. Now, sex offenders usually means a sex offender is moving into the neighborhood, so residents are simply given a heads up about that. Keep in mind, Vista is a big street that stretches for miles, and this is a large area we're talking about, and the time frame goes back about a year with many of these reports, but nothing that I saw about any sexual assaults in that area around Vista Boulevard. Now, I did speak with Kelly Wilson, the founder of Alert ID, and she pointed out they get their information information straight from law enforcement agencies. She said she was more than happy to talk with our viewer directly in order to make sure the alerts that are going out are accurate. So I'll put them in touch. Hopefully that'll help resolve any unanswered questions about this. Thanks to our viewer for sending in that question. Remember, if you do have any questions you'd like to ask, send me an email at jhart at mynews4.com. Just put Ask Joe in the subject line, and I'll do my best to track down whatever answers you are looking for.